This week's Glitch Vault will open with a short artistic motion picture by Sir Shepard Emanuel Feathergainsman. Do enjoy. Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Glitch Vault! Today we are taking a look at one of my favorite games of all time, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 for the PlayStation 2 system. My heart is full being able to play this game again, so let's make quick work of this bad boy and crank these glitches out. This first trick takes place at the college by the parking complex. Angle yourself on this side of the yellow bar sitting right in front of it. If you skate into the bar this way, you will go straight through it and practice your best Shadowcat skills. There are a few of these fun clip type tricks in this video, so if you're not a fan, buckle up because you're in for a bumpy ride. Now go to the tennis courts nearby and wall ride into this totally naturally placed quarter pipe. As you participate in what will undoubtedly result in permanent brain damage, you will eventually fall right through that QP and ultimately become a part of it. I heard that's good for your chi, but I don't know man, this doesn't look healthy at all. Alternatively, if you can get yourself squatting at this very specific angle on that quarter pipe, you can link together a combo of infinite reverts. Doing this for a prolonged amount of time will destroy your hand and controller, but who really needed those anyway? I mean really. Now the idea behind this next glitch is to set a custom restart directly before touching water. This one doesn't take too long, just takes a little getting used to. Once you've found the sweet spot, you can now go to your custom restart and skate around across the water. You can see some really odd spots with this glitch, which makes this one twice as awesome. As long as you don't jump, you're pretty safe. You can skate around, manual, and even fall without issue. Now, some areas suck and cause you to go kerplunk, but otherwise, this is a pretty awesome little glitch. Now, if you could just turn that water into wine, I'd actually be impressed. This glitch is not restricted to the water in San Francisco, so go experiment and see what you can get done. This little trick is pretty funny and requires almost no effort. The entertainer at the zoo only starts moving once you get close enough to him. Well, if you skate up to the point that's right outside that threshold and move the camera around, he will have changed position by the time you move the camera back. This is due to his movement being based on the camera's position and not the player's position. Either that or he just wants to play a quick innocent game of red light green light. This next glitch is just plain rad. Skate around for a bit doing nothing until you have enough slack to work with in the replay viewer. Once that's accomplished, start grinding and while you're still grinding, go watch your replay. Once the replay gets to the grinding part, restart the replay. Your wheels will still be in grinding mode and you'll look super dope. This glitch really sparks an interest in me. <laughs> Woo! The same can be done with the landing and water effect, but that one's not quite as cool. You either look like a weird milky super saiyan or that you need a triple dose of antiperspirant. Neither one is a good thing and I pray for the person that has to deal with either of those. So this next glitch requires the cheat Cool Specials, which activates a sort of slow-mo and blur effect as you perform special tricks in the air. Here in San Francisco, pull off a special in the air by this bar and grind immediately afterward. Upon completion, this will keep you stuck in this mode, you can skate around and, uh, yeah, this glitch kind of speaks for itself. Ha 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 ha. 
This next glitch is back at the college inside the parking structure. Grind on this ledge and bail to the right just as you're grinding the rounded corner. Once you get up, you'll find yourself standing sideways. Quite a strange phenomenon indeed. This one can be tough to pull off since you seem to constantly slide forward, but it looks cool, so do it anyway. Another thing you can do at this spot is jump and spin into the corner. Do it enough times, you'll find yourself out of bounds. Poking around in this area reveals a spot where you can jump and get stuck in the air. From there, you can get real mad tech and spit out some serious trickage. This of course includes eating pizza and generally looking like a complete buffoon. This next one should look fairly familiar and takes place on this ledge in San Francisco. Get some momentum into the corner and bail. Oh, oh, hey there, buddy. Uh, so yeah, bail into this corner and you'll get really, really stuck there. You can still pause and stuff, but if you really want an easy way to induce vomiting, just rotate the camera a bit. It's a doozy. If you bail backwards while grinding at the end of this ledge in San Fran, you'll plunge through the floor onto the dock below. What's strange about this one though is that you see a completely random set of lights in the middle of falling below, and quite honestly, it's probably the creepiest thing I've seen in this game. Last but not least, play as Jango Fett, enable the moon gravity and matrix mode cheats, and start Jango Jump jetting around. This literally allows you to skyrocket into the air with no issues. This is by far the easiest way to get out of bounds and explore, and I have to say, this one's pretty dang amazing. You can even find those weird empty spaces in games where you can see the victorious solitaire effect. As far as simplicity to fun value, I must say this one gets the Space Nate stamp of approval. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did making it. We're very close to the launch of something really cool and entirely unexpected, and none of you have even come close to guessing what it is yet, so that makes me even more excited for it. Anyway, I love all of you, and I hope to see you next time on Glitch Vault.